Hey, you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. And this particular message, God is saying, seek the kingdom. Seek the kingdom. A lot of people want the blessings. They want the promise. But they don't want to seek the kingdom. God had um, gave me a message months ago where I had released where people where I where God told me to say that people want the promise but not the process. And a lot of people they don't want to seek the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's the scripture that God had dropped in my spirit, and I got to read that scripture. But we need to seek first the kingdom. Everything we do should include God. God should be first in everything. What we do throughout the day, how we live our life, our daily activities, how we treat others. It should be done to glorify the Father and to be pleasing to the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom. And... Like I said, a lot of people don't want to seek the kingdom. And that's where a lot of stagnation is coming from because we will not seek ye first the kingdom of God. So I'm going to read the book of Matthew chapter six. And I'm going to read verses 31 through 34. So don't worry about these things saying what we will eat, what we will drink, what we will wear. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Y'all God is saying, seek ye first the kingdom of God. I got to read the King James Version. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. The 33rd verse reads in the King James Version. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. God wants to add his righteousness to a lot of his children. But you got to first seek the kingdom of God. In the NLV version, the NLT version, it was saying how unbelievers, they worry about certain things that God has already taken care of. Because, but they worry about certain things because they are unbelievers. And when you are a believer of God, we know that when we seek ye first the kingdom of God, that all his righteousness is added unto us. That he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And God is saying to seek the kingdom. If you are in need of anything right now, you should be seeking the kingdom. God is the answer to all things. You need to be seeking the kingdom. And... What that scripture, what God just dropped into my spirit, thank you, Holy Spirit. Unbelievers tend to worry about things that God is already in control over. Believers know just to seek God. And y'all, we have to seek God in everything that we do. The people, the places, the things. We have to seek God in everything that we do. Because everything that we do on earth should be to glorify the kingdom of God for the upbuilding of God's kingdom. And God is saying, seek the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom. Another scripture in the book of Matthew, it says, um, ask it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Seek, y'all. Seek and ye shall find. But who shall we seek? We shall first seek God. We shall first seek the kingdom of God. And so this might be the time to ask God 
God, what do I need to seek you for? God, I'm in need of a breakthrough. What do I need to seek you for? God, I'm in need of healing. What do I need to seek you for? God, I'm standing in the need of prayer. What do I need to seek you for? Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all of his righteousness shall be added unto you. A lot of people are, like I said, in stagnation. A lot of people are in suffering when they don't have to be. All they have to do is seek ye first the kingdom of God. But a lot of people want to be unbelievers. A lot of people want to do things in their own will and in their own strength. But God is saying to his children to seek me, seek the kingdom. When you seek the kingdom, he will give you the answers. When you seek the kingdom, he will give you the keys. When you seek the kingdom, thank you, Holy Spirit, he will open the door. Y'all, we should never stop seeking God. We should never stop asking God. We should never stop knocking. We shall always seek the kingdom first. We shall always go to God and ask God about everything first. <laughs> All right. So I just wanted to come and share that. Seek the kingdom. Again, that was, that was Matthew chapter 6, verses 32 through 34. Go and read Matthew chapter 6. All right. And I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day. Remember to seek the kingdom. Seek God first. Put God first in everything that you do. And I will talk to you all later.